In this video, we're going to talk about how to upload a file to Slack from Jenkins. In a previous video, we talked about how to send messages from Jenkins to Slack. However, there may be times that you also want to send files to Slack to give more context for the messages that you've sent. And in this video, we're going to walk you through how to upload files to Slack using the Slack notification plugin. If you haven't watched the previous video yet about how we set up our integration with Slack from Jenkins, go ahead and go watch that video right now so you can be set up to be able to continue on with this video. Here's our starting point for today. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.303.1. Attached to this controller, I have an agent with the label of Linux. Now, when this controller was set up, we installed it using install suggested plugins. And based on the previous video, we've installed the Slack notification plugin. All of the job definitions, documentation links are going to be in a gist. And the link to that gist is down in the description of this video. Now let's review where we left off in the last video. Let's go up to dashboard, take a look at our Slack test job. And we can see here that we have a Slack send color good with test message. Now what we want to do is we want to create a file and we're going to upload that file to the same channel as to where this message is being sent. Now you might be asking, okay, I know that I'm using Slack send to send the message, but do I use Slack send to also upload the file? And the quick answer to that is actually no. Let's go take a look at the step reference on the Jenkins IO site. And for the Slack notification plugin, we have a Slack upload file step that we're going to be using. Now, if we go ahead and click on this link, it will take us to the Slack upload file section and we give it a file path, a channel, which is optional, credentials in case we had a different set of credentials and an initial comment. So in our example today, we're going to be creating an initial comment along with a file path. But if I want to make this configuration even simpler, let's go back over to our job, click on pipeline syntax, and let's go down to Slack upload file. And that's right there. So let's say the file path is going to be a file and we're going to call it hello.txt. Okay, that makes sense. And the initial comment is, here is your file. Okay, and let's generate the pipeline script. So we're going to Slack upload a file, file path of hello text, and the initial comment of here is your file. Let's go back over to our job and change it to add in a new stage. This is going to be upload file. That's the name we'll give it. Let's give it steps. And we'll paste in Slack upload file, hello text, along with the initial comment of here is your file. But what's missing? I don't have a file named hello text. So let's create a stage in the middle. I'm going to say create file. Oops. And here with steps, I'm going to say sh, I'm going to say echo hello world. I'm going to redirect that to hello.txt. So we've built on top of our existing job, we've added in two new stages, a create file where we're going to create the file on the fly, and we're going to upload the file into our default channel, which is the general channel. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. When we take a look at three, what we're going to see is we see our Slack send, just like we would expect. We have an echo hello world. And then we can see a step here from Slack upload file that it's using the directory name. It's including the mask hello text and it's adding the file. So let's go over and take a look at it inside of Slack. And when we take a look at Slack, what we can see here is we see our test message. Here's our initial comment. And then here is the file already expanded. Since it's a text file, it automatically expands it for us, at least in my workspace. Now, why would you want to upload a file to Slack from Jenkins? It might seem a little counterintuitive, but uploading files to Slack can be a way of storing and organizing them. 
like we saw in this video, the basic idea is you can go to a Slack channel and you can see all the files that you have added to that channel. Also, it can be a great way to share files within your organization to people that do not have access to your Jenkins controller or maybe your artifact repository. That way, if they need a file, you can just quickly send it to them via Slack. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.